What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, some kind of drink maker. Oh, shoot. What is that thing? Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> um. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh. I think it's some kind of like a shake mixer drink maker or something. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> it's got these little cartoon deals stuck in it. Like that was supposed to be a label. I think it's a label maker. I think these I think it puts labels on cups. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's a weird looking deal. Mm. Talking about electric eye. The film must be placed in the notch. I'm pretty sure it's for putting these labels on those plastic cups. If I'm seeing that right. Hey, let me show you some of the stuff I scored before I turn the camera on. This little candlestick holder. I'm actually gonna put that on the curb. And uh, I, that's not something I scored, that's from something else. Just a lamp. I wanna show you this Xbox I scored in here. A bunch of cords and stuff. But this Xbox was kinda interesting. Uh, it was just kind of some aluminum, some vacuum cleaner cores, and the usual suspects. Clean that up a little bit while I'm here. But this Xbox, I found it all together. Uh, but it looks like someone intentionally damaged it before they threw it away. I've never seen one really damaged like that before. I mean, I've seen stores intentionally damage them. But it looks like someone, this was, a, I found this at an apartment building. It looks like someone went to throw it away and they just intentionally stuck something in there and ruined the, ruined the uh, connector deal. And then, that, I don't know, I could be wrong. It could just be damaged, I suppose, but every single piece of this is, a, is damaged in some way. <laughs> This had a big crack in it somewhere, I thought. Yeah, right there is a crack. <clears throat> but uh, it still might be sellable, I suppose. Uh, maybe that wasn't done intentionally. That's actually bent up in there, too. It just kind of struck me as odd as every single bit of this was damaged. <laughs> I suppose it could have happened naturally. It almost looks like someone did it intentionally. There's one part that is not damaged. Oh, and this AV cable too, I thought was good. And then I looked at it, and look at that. <laughs> so like every, every little piece has been damaged except for this one cord. I'll be able to sell this at a used video game store. That's just the cord for the power brick. That's not gonna be worth a whole lot. Uh, it might be more valuable just to scrap it actually but uh, I could probably sell this whole thing on eBay I suppose in the parts are not working category kind of looks like it was damaged intentionally anyways that's that I was making a fishing video, that's why that's in there. I'm getting it. Okay, so. Pretty sure I'm right about that. Ah, that's a heavy duty piece of machine, I can tell you that. That's heavy, that's a heavy dog.
set that right there. Someone will have that pretty quick. There is a skunk right there with his butt pointed straight at me. <laughs> oh, he's, in, he's eating cat food. Two skunks. Oh, it's a baby skunk. I thought I was about to get hit by a skunk, but there's actually someone who set up a bowl of food there and put plywood over it to protect it from the rain. I don't want to walk up behind a skunk. <laughs> And they're just grubbing. A cat ran out of there too. I noticed that skunks and cats really get along well together. Let's see if I can get you to look at this baby skunk. This could get dangerous. There he is. Look your little baby skunk. Look at this. That's your little... Hi baby skunk. Oh. You pretty little skunks. Huh? Hi skunk. Let's uh, start putting her rear end in my direction. I think I'll leave. Those are some pretty tame little skunks. <laughs> There's been feral cats at this place for years. Someone puts food out for them. Probably why there's a family of skunks living there, I suppose. Nice food supply. The problem with those places that start doing that though is if they were to like move to a location, all these animals would be sitting here with no one feeding them. Let's see here. Man, excellent. Here's the fun way to do it. One little screw right there you take out. I can probably just bust that off there real quick and see how that comes off there. I'll get clean motor for that right there. I should probably take that piece of plastic off, I suppose. I'll get clean motor for that. I watched the e-waste Ben video last night. He was street scrapping and he passed up a fan like that and he said it really wasn't worth his time. And cleaning stuff up like that really he's right it's not really worth your time i'll get maybe uh 15 20 cents for that i mean the prices are down but uh when you can do stuff real quick like you just saw me do just you saw my little method of doing that just wham bam takes a few seconds that's what makes it worth it but if you don't have the dumpster to smash it on and you don't have a way to do things quickly you know he was putting stuff in his van and you know he's right you know if he took that fan home and wrestled with it and took his tools out and took it apart and you know if you put a few minutes of labor into making 15 20 cents you know it's, it's really not worth it but if you can do things quickly it really makes a big difference it's like some people will take these, take the time to take all these screws out and get these bits of aluminum and then pick the copper out of there. And doing stuff like that, it's really counterproductive as long as you're investing that time into doing something else, you know. But as opposed to doing nothing else, well then, you know, do what you want, you know. But for me, what I'm doing, my specific activity, 
just my wheels rolling down the road are far more valuable than taking something like that home and picking all the aluminum and copper bits out of it. That's just way too time consuming. For what I'm doing, but you know, other people, maybe they've got their system down at home where they've got a work area and they've specialized in taking stuff like that apart and they're making good money. You know, that could be possible. I've noticed specialization. We have a tendency to specialize in stuff. Like my specialty is just going out and just having my wheels rolling and just picking up valuable stuff. That's my specialty, you know. One nice thing would be if you had the machinery, if you had yourself a, a shredder, something like a pulverizer, you could just smash that thing and just smash it, smash it, and like a little conveyor belt with a magnet and pick all the ferrous and non-ferrous. And you know, if you had machinery, like a shredder to throw that in, that would just be wonderful. Then you could make huge money doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, my fingers are not made out of steel shredder blades. Oil filters, I'll take those as long as they're relatively empty and dry. When they're, when they're full of oil, they really get messy. And sometimes they're sneaky, they won't come out right away. It'll take a minute or two for it to start flowing out of there. That one's got a little in it. That's not bad though. Ouch, dang it. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> this place will throw out some decent scrap bits every now and then. It's a used car lot or a like an import automotive shop. Unfortunately, it rained earlier today, so everything's wet. The lid must have been open on that one earlier today. That's full of something. I think it's paper. It's amazing how heavy that paper is, you know what? Hey, look at that's nice paper. I don't have a printer like that though. Look at that. Amazing though how heavy that stuff gets. You know, just, I mean <laughs> put a bunch of little sheets of paper together. It's some of the heaviest stuff I run into. scrapyard I go to used to take that a long time ago when prices were way up I could take these the stacks of paper in there yeah, it was like I think it was up to like three cents a pound or something it was nice <laughs> I never really took advantage of it the prices fell a long time ago and, it, and it, they never bought it since then but you could take like if you find big stacks of phone books and stuff that's basically what that is. It'd be worth it when you find stuff like that. But... Oh well. I think paper was at three cents. It might have just been at one cent. I'm not sure. That's a long time ago. I just just started just started realizing it was valuable when the prices fell, and they've never bought it again since then. Passenger deals in here. It's 
scrapyards where I live only give tin shred for these aluminum capacitors. I'd be interested in hearing what you guys get for them. What category? It sure seems like it'd be like an aluminum breakage or something, you know? I don't know. I guess I've never really. Hey, look at it. I guess I've never really busted one open. I'm not sure what's inside of it exactly. Oh, I'm glad that capacitor was in there. Let me come and look closer. That's a nice little bit right there. Ouch. Nice little fan. Motor. This is sometimes I talk about the time it takes to do stuff. Like I'm going after that little capacitor that bounced over this way. Because <laughs> I couldn't quite reach it, you know. And I mean, that's a scrappy art I'll get. I think tin shreds down to five cents a pound today. So that's maybe half pound, three quarters of a pound. That's worth maybe three, four cents, five cents tops. You know, took me another 20 seconds to get it so in reality in the time theory you could I could have just got right on my scooter and drove down the road and made the amount of money that 20 seconds or whatever could have went into finding something else you know of course now I'm sitting here talking about it wasting more time but anyways Big of a hill. <laughs> whole, whole scooter was gonna go. This piece of aluminum siding. Pretty sure that's aluminum. Indeed, it is. Aluminum siding off one of these buildings, I think. Maybe. It's a nice piece. I'll try not to create a sailboat effect on my scooter. Get that down out of the wind. Here's what I do sometimes to save room. Bend it like that and just stick it in there. Hanging up, hanging up the back like that. Not too bad. This dumpster belongs to some Amazon sellers out of that warehouse back there. And it's always filled up. Well, not too much this time of some in there. But like VHS tapes and CDs and DVDs and all the stuff that's not sellable online really. There's some kind of insulation blocking everything out tonight but there's usable stuff in there a lot <laughs> nothing of real value though it's pretty interesting looking in there sometimes though I 
think this is actually a cardboard dumpster. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it is. Now I pay attention to what I'm doing. No, it's not marked cardboard. It looks like that's what they're using it for, though. Okay, well, anyways. Enough for talking. Look at a nice brass piece of brass on there. That's, uh, I think that's some kind of... I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> some kind of, uh, temperature? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Shoot, you know what? I thought that was a copper wire. I, don't, I think it's just a hose. No, it is copper wire. That's a weird looking deal. It's copper wire. Oh, shoot. What? What am I looking at? I'm just confusing myself. Okay, now that makes sense. That is a copper wire attached to it, though. Um, I don't know. It's a little uh, low-grade insulated copper wire with these two brass fittings connected on each end. Uh, a threaded brass bolt there that screws onto something. Uh, anybody, anybody out there that knows what that might be, put it down in the comments. It's kind of a weird deal. Well, as far as scrap goes, I know what it is. <laughs> nice pieces of brass. And a piece of low-grade insulated copper wire. Huh. Can't say I've seen something like that before. These are brand new dumpsters, I believe. They're fairly new. Hey, look at that. I can smell the fresh paint on these dumpsters. Smell that? <laughs> what are we dealing with here? Oh, it's the whole deal. Hey, that, that can have some good value to it. Look at that. That's not too bad. I do believe that tripod is in good shape too. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's probably got some decent value to it. Just in the stand alone, I suppose. I'll have a look at selling that online maybe. It's it's fairly lightweight. I could probably just take these lights off of there. Maybe. I, I don't know. See how to see what the best way to do it is. But uh Oh boy, what's that? Oh boy, look at that. Yahtzee! <laughs> oh boy, oh sheesh! <sighs> I have to breathe out on this one. <laughs> oh my goodness! Woo -wee. That's a heavy dog. Big old piece of steel stuck to a big old electric motor. Yeah. It's trying, instead of trying to catch it, I'm just going to let it fall, I guess. But, uh, I'm not sure. That used to be bolted down to something, and that was a drive motor for something. Uh, it kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, something might have broke or something. Not sure. Nice piece of scrap metal though, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to head back to the storage unit now. Ugh. Ugh. It's 
Get that out of there. Stand might have a problem. Anyways, have a look at it. pretty much done with this route anyways there's a few dumpsters left there's some apartments up there I could go hit but... this is uh, the last dumpster right here I'm in a little industrial park area right now and uh, this is the last dumpster I haven't checked Okay, now I'm going to head back to the storage unit. I'll come back out and hit this apartment complex down here for you. I don't want to make this video too short. I'm actually going to go grab the poochie dog and take her with us this time. Take her out for a little nighttime spin. Say hi everybody! Hi everybody! <laughs> That's an interesting sight. I wonder if it's usable or not. That's not bad. Uh, I think it's, no, it's broken. No, it's not broken. I saw that and I thought it was broken. Uh, no, shoot, that is. Uh, well, it's actually designed to have like a little catch there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's worn pretty good. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Hmm. I think it's got a problem. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see here. Well, wait a second. Hey, that's not bad. Hey, that would come in handy down in my storage units. It's kind of like a little portable dolly, lightweight dolly. Magna cart. That's not too bad. It's a lightweight dolly. Probably for like the business person on the go that needs to carry all their bags and whatnot. To hotels and through airports and I don't know something along them lines. I might have to be a resident in my storage units. And if I decide I don't want to keep it, I'll just throw it in my aluminum scrap pile and <laughs> be done with it. I do believe someone was using those as candle holders. I don't know if that's what they really are. Or not. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Candles smell good. Uh, I think those are. Uh, oh no, shoot, you know what? Those are actually battery operated. Actually, lights 
fake candles. Huh. That's interesting. Lots of times I'll pass that kind of stuff up, but we're kind of just finishing up this video, so if I don't score a whole lot, at least we have something to look at. Oh, I meant to say earlier too that when I was talking about earlier in the video, when I was talking about that uh, little motor out of that fan and that little capacitor and talking about, oh, I didn't even see that hot plate deal over there. I was talking about having a, uh, <clears throat> I was talking about using your time efficiently, you know, messing around, making small amounts of money with stuff when you could be using your time to do something more, more profitable. And you know, I mean, people can do whatever they want with their time, you know, I mean, <laughs> It's not all about making money. If you enjoy doing something, that's fine. But I mean, just as far as making money and whatnot, that was a perfect example. I didn't say anything about it. When I found that big industrial drive shaft motor or whatever it was, that real big heavy one, I mean, that thing might've been a hundred pounds, you know? That's the kind of stuff that is out here doing this and it's the kind of stuff you can find if you cover a lot of ground and that actually was exactly what I was talking about I didn't bring it up at the time but there it is I brought it up now <laughs> you know, that little fan motor a little two pound fan motor you can sit down and take 10 minutes or whatever to half hour or whatever however long it takes you to pick all the aluminum and copper out of it and clean it and get it all separated or you could just take it in as a motor I cleaned it up real quick you know that's a clean motor or like a UAS Ben he just he just skip stuff like that and not even not even mess with it you know <laughs> You know, it was no, it's no coincidence that I found that really, you know, that 100 pound motor after that. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that is out there. And if you want to find a lot of stuff like that, you simply have to cover ground and don't waste your time. You know, there's just no other way to do it. And like that fan, you know, I mean, If I was in a different vehicle, I could just take that whole fan and just throw it in the, you know, in the tin pile and be done with it, you know? That would be one way to not waste time with it. <laughs> just throw it in your tin shred pile, you know? Or knock the motor off of it real quick like I did. I mean, I just, you just don't want to get bogged down. I'll just leave that bed frame for someone else. It looks like someone's moving. It's a nice little box spring there. Almost looks like it's brand new. Look at that. All bagged up. Shoot, you know what? I'm not so sure that's not brand new. I think it's brand new. That bag is definitely sealed. Huh.
kind of neat. Uh, it's broken, I think. I don't see her other arm. No, her other arm's in there holding flowers. It's kind of interesting. Swinging by the Goodwill. Hopefully, that's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's such a busy place. I didn't know if it was like an employee coming back for something or something. But... Good? What's up, man? What's up, dude? I didn't know if you were an employee coming nah, back. I'm not. Or what? Goodwill employees. Nah. They don't let you kill her. Uh, Where? What's in that one? Ain't that good? Uh, I, I don't think anyone's been through that one over there. It doesn't look like anyone's dug in it whatsoever. Little fucking baby walker. Hopefully it's not too wet though, man. It's pretty nasty in here. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think anyone's dug through that at all, but yeah, that top well. layer is going to be soaking wet. That's, oh, yeah. a, that's the problem. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Right. <laughs> Some decent little uh, dry cans sitting here. Well, what I mean by dry is there's nothing really inside of them. And I'll pass up cans a lot, but when they're just sitting right here like this, it is worth it to take them. When they're just right in front of your face, you know. You grab one every couple seconds, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as they're not disgusting. But fishing them out from underneath all the rest of this stuff, and searching for them. That's just, that's for the birds. Where I live, there's a bag right there ready to go. Same bag as the other one. Nice and empty, take all those. But, uh, you know, something like that, I mean, if you can score stuff like that, uh, I mean, it could be big money, but. Where I live, they're only like one and a half cents a can, so searching for them and digging them out it's just it consumes way too much time i just drove through a spider web that's so strong and thick i don't know if the gopro can see that or not It hit me right under my nose and there for a second I wasn't sure if it was like a piece of rope or <laughs> wire or something strung up across the way. Man, that is one strong spider web. My goodness. It caught me right under my nose. And it just it wouldn't break. I I didn't know if I <laughs> ran through some kind of booby trap or what that was man that was weird that was a strong strong spider web Uh, this looks really pretty, but most of it's coax. Almost all of it's coax. Hey, that's a battery charger there. It's a nice little battery charger, huh? It's kind of corroded. Might have a look at that. Another problem with these cans is when you start finding a bunch of them, I have to smash them, you know. They take up a lot less room that way, so. Smashing hundreds of cans isn't a whole lot of fun either, but hey, there's actually some decent stuff in here. Look at that. TP Link. TLSF100. 
8D, I think, is the model number on that. A bunch of, a whole stack of them. I didn't see that. That could be interesting, I think. I wonder if those are worth anything. Uh, this little bag of stuff. <laughs> That's a little better than I thought. It's more than just coax, I guess. Those are interesting. I don't know if it's gold plate on there or if it's just brass. Radio Shack 15-1172 S Video Distribution Amplifier. Whatever that means. Uh, that's a copper coax right there, I do believe. Let's see if a magnet sticks to it. I don't know if my magnet's strong enough or not. No, my magnet's not strong enough. Never mind. RF modulator. All kinds of little goodies in here. The first time I just thought it was coax. It's a lot better than coax. Uh, let's see. That is not coax. That is a little microphone cord, I do believe. bits off of here real quick. <clears throat> I'm actually going to leave the rest of this coax. Someone else might be able to use it. Uh, that's a nice little piece of copper wire. Actually, might be able to use this chicken wire. Uh, let's see. There's this stuff. I suppose I'll go ahead and take this for scrap. Knock the ants off of it. kind of laid out here. Pretty close to some apartments right now. So I don't want to squish those cans. Uh, just going to leave the rest of this stuff for somebody else. I tried to avoid it, but I have to do it. Alrighty then.